Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing things a little bit differently. Um, I got a new microphone so I'm testing it out. Um, I actually already shot this video in its entirety and had to delete it because my webcam and my microphone were recording at the same time. So I had like this crazy reverb going on. It was insane. So I had to scratch the entire video and come back and reshoot. But today we are talking about the Hex Ohm V3. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different than any other mod that I have reviewed on this channel other than that little silver mod right there. Um, it's kind of the same because uh, they both have kind of the same setup. This one's a little bit more expensive than that one. Um, that is a nice cheap, cheaper alternative to the Hex Ohm, uh, but let's jump into this. So, to start off, the Hex Ohm V3 is going to be 101.6 millimeters tall, 50.8 millimeters wide, and 25.4 millimeters in width right there. It's got a max output of 180 watts. It is a dual 18650 mod. Uh, to get into this, you just kind of put your fingernail in here and pull off. You will see the dual 18650s there. You see the, po the negative, positive, positive, negative. Uh, and now this right here, the original was actually made of plastic. This is now uh, 3D printed. All of the inside is 3D printed. It's pretty basic. Uh, on the inside, you do have this on and off button right here. Pretty nice. You do have two brass spring-loaded pins right down here for your batteries that work very nicely. On the battery door, you can see that stainless steel finish. It does have magnets in all four corners. Whenever this clips in, it's not going anywhere. There's no wiggle. There's no nothing. It is going to stay. There's no worry about this thing falling off anytime soon. Um, that power switch is a single click on and a single click off. Very simple. On the outside, it does have this very large hex home symbol here. The fire button right there, which is extremely clicky. Your potentiometer right here, a basic, this is the blue powder coated edition. Then it does have the hex home logo right there, as well as your serial number and the V3.0. Uh, at the top, let me show you this, it does have your 510 spring-loaded gold-plated pin at the top, and uh, now that, it has a very, very good resistance, but the spring that they've decided to use in there is going to work with any RDA on the market, so it's very, very nice. Um, this is 100% made in America, um, and that's kind of where that price point's coming from. You're going to pay anywhere from $160 to $250, depending on where you go to purchase this. But you are getting a lifetime warranty with it. So with that lifetime warranty, it is transferable. Um, I actually got this on the secondhand market. And I reached out to make sure that it was authentic. And whenever they authenticated it, they said that, yes, absolutely. Um, the warranty comes to me. It is a lifetime warranty, even if I go and get this repowder coated because it has a lot of dents and dings in mine. Um, so I want to get it repowder coated and get my logo put on the battery door. That warranty still transfers over to that. Um, anything that messes up on the inside, they will replace it. So that's kind of what you're paying for with that warranty and that high dollar range and I know that's going to turn some of you off but it is a great great mod so to get into it this does have this very clicky button right here this is the fire button and you can change the colors of these I like the blue it goes nicely with it your potentiometer right here um, this is very different than say this right here this is the drag 2 um, the chipset in this is very simple. You just hit a button, it goes up. You hit a button, it goes down. Hit the button, it fires. This right here is a potentiometer. It goes from 0 to 100. Now, if I had to describe this in a way, I would say um, it's kind of like if you live in a house with a light switch that you can dim your lights. 
how you can dim it down or dim it up, make your light brighter or less bright. That's kind of like what this is. It's kind of like adjusting the wattage or the voltage that's coming from the batteries to your coils. Now with that, you are going to be using an RDA. So you are going to be either purchasing or buying coils, putting your own cotton in there and setting it up yourself. Just for safety reasons, I would never, never advise you to use a sub ohm tank like this with this hex ohm. Don't do it, just for safety reasons. Now this does have um, a lot of safety regulators inside of it, so it's not gonna blow up or anything, but this has a lot more safe safety regulators inside of it to make it to where this is fine if you want to use an RDA, an RTA, a sub ohm tank, whatever you want to use with this, you're going to be fine. Um, this right here, I would say this is for the vapor that's uh, been in it for a while. I would not recommend this to a newbie um, just because you need to learn about Ohm's Law before you ever jump into a big boy like this. Um, I have a video coming out on Ohm's Law very soon that I'll be releasing. You guys can be looking forward to that. This mod, is it honestly worth $250, $150? I'll be right back. Especially when this mod right here, what is this? This is the Tesla SIGs, has a battery door where you can have three batteries instead of two. Um, this is a nice little mod. It also has a potentiometer and a button right there that's very clicky. This is kind of like the bur the budget 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 version of the hex ohm. This is about twenty five dollars, thirty five dollars, depending on where you're getting it. But this does not have a lifetime warranty. This breaks and it's not under warranty. You're SOL. So mm. also, anytime I start leaning towards, oh man, I want to use an RDA. I want to use a potentiometer. I never pick this up. I'm actually looking to trade this because this is my go-to for any potentiometer device. But is it worth spending $150 to $250 instead of $30? In my mindset, yes, it is. That lifetime warranty, hands down, is just amazing. The, anything I can get a lifetime warranty on, absolutely I will. This breaks 10 years from now. If they can't fix it, they send me a brand new one. The newest updated version, which is fantastic. Plus, the build quality on this is a lot better than this. This feels plasticky and not like, ugh, I don't like this. I don't like this compared to this. Uh, but this right here is solid metal all the way around till you get on the inside. And then, I mean, you can see those hex screws right there. Those are metal. Everything in this is metal minus this right here and the board. Look at that. Snaps into place. Look at that. Listen to that. No rattle. No shake. Now. Would I suggest you buying this if you've been in vaping for a while and you're wanting to get more down and dirty and learn a little bit more about vaping? Yes. If you're a newbie, no. Uh, this right here is probably going to be your best potentiometer device on the market that you can buy. And this is actually a few years old now at this point. They actually have newer versions. Um, but with it having a lifetime warranty, these are still, it's like a Jeep Wrangler. It's going to hold its value. Even today, with it having its little chips and nicks, I could still sell this for almost what I bought it for on the secondary market, which is insane to say because mods like this lose their value very, very quickly. You can find these on the secondary market for dirt cheap. These hold their value kind of like a Jeep Wrangler does. But... Once you get this mod, it's basically going to come without the RDA, so it's just this box right here, okay? You have to purchase dual 18650, so you have to get two batteries, put it in there, charge them up, put it in there, and then you're going to uh, turn it on with that little button on the inside, and then you have your potentiometer. Um, the potentiometer is going to be based kind of like your wattage. Um, it's going to be based on what coils you put in there and the resistance of those coils. Now, this is recommended below a two and above a one you never want to go below one resistance with this and you never want to really go above two resistance 
Now, I did say at the beginning that this does have some safety features, some safety regulators inside of it. If you hold down the button for more than 10 seconds, it is going to stop firing. It is going to have, it has the 3.0 chipset in it that is going to be um, able to go up to 30 amps and 180 watt output, which is a lot. It's a whole lot. I get that these have higher wattages. Um, a lot of them go up to 220 and stuff like that, but I promise you this is going to be enough for you using an RDA. Um, especially whatever build you have in here, it's going to make a huge difference. A few pros and cons. Cons is the price. This thing's expensive. It's, it's not for every vapor. It's not for the average vapor. This is for somebody that's really into vaping that wants to get more into the roots of vaping. That's more of who this is going to be for. And most of these pros and cons are going to be subjective because what might be bad is also good for another person. Like with this, a con and a pro is you cannot use a sub ohm tank with this mod. You're really going to be using an RDA and that's it. Um, but that's also a pro because you're going to learn to build on an RDA. You're going to learn about decks and coils and Ohm's Law and all that good stuff. So the cons, you're not going to be able to use a sub ohm tank. So you have to drip every few minutes, drip on the cotton to make sure you're not getting dry hits. The price, ridiculously expensive, but you're getting that lifetime warranty. Pros. I think that this is a banging looking mod. I would love the look of this. I would love to have my logo on the back, which I'm actually getting a company in town to put it on there, and they're going to repowder coat it, refinish it. It's going to look gorgeous. I'm so excited because this is one of my most favorite mods that I have, and I, I run through mods quite a bit. Those are really the ones that I've chosen to keep along with this and my drawer over there with a few more. Um, but a lot of times I get mods like this, trade them away pretty quickly for something else to review and have and enjoy. Um, but so this is one that I absolutely love and will keep. Another pro, that lifetime warranty. Oh my goodness. That is the reason why it costs so much money. It's made in the US of A, not in China. And it's going to last. This thing has been through the ringer for a couple years now and still works perfectly on a daily basis. I pick it up, at no hesitation, I know this is going to work. And I've put it through the ringer. This, this thing, you can see my little arrow right there. No longer looks like an arrow. It's supposed to look like that right there. Come on. You can see, boom, that does not look like an arrow at all. That's where the paint's chipped off. Put it down, you put your fingernail down in there, turn it to whatever you're wanting between zero and 100. Uh, you can use a small coin or a uh, flathead screwdriver. I just use my fingernail, put it in there. Um, I've never had the potentiometer move while it's in my pocket or I'm juggling it around with my keys and stuff. I've never had a problem with it moving unless I purposefully move the potentiometer. So, pro. You don't have to worry about hitting any buttons other than that one right there. Power button's hidden inside this metal back door. This right here comes with a lock feature for a reason because you will hit these buttons, put it in your pocket, put it in your car. You're going to hit these buttons. You're going to change the settings. You're going to do all kinds of stuff. This you will not. That's a huge pro for me. The pro. Since you are using an RDA, you're going to get better flavor and bigger clouds off of this. Now you can use the RDA with something like the Drag 2. So I could see how you would argue, oh, but that's just typical because that's the RDA. We're not talking about the RDA. This is the Drop Dead. If you haven't seen my review for that, it's gonna pop up in the link right around here somewhere. And you can go watch that. It's a fantastic RDA. It's my favorite RDA of the year currently. But back to the mod, the mod. Having that 30 amp, that is a massive amount of amps to push through some coils, which is going to get you huge clouds coming off of this puppy. A lot bigger than say this. Um, I do want to test it out. Um, I'm going to take it from zero to 50 and to 100, which I've never done with this mod, but I'm doing it for you guys, for YouTube. 
Okay, so we do have two of the alien coils in here. I'm going to put it at zero so you can kind of see the differences and we'll work our way up. This is at zero on the potentiometer. So that is not technically zero, which as you notice, whenever you're using one of these, it only goes down to five watts. That zero is kind of the lowest level of wattage and voltage that can be pushed from the batteries. It's not nothing. It is just the lowest amount. So this is kind of percentages, essentially. So that is zero. We're gonna kick it up to 50 just by turning this little knob right here. Okay, so we are at 50 on the potentiometer. I promise you, as I'm working my way up, I will start taking not as long of hits. I'll put it that way, because it's going to get a lot hotter than that nice cool vape we started with. So, this is at 50. A lot more. A lot more vape. Okay, so, we are going to kick it up to 100. I would not recommend this for anyone, but I'm going to do it. Here we go. Wow, that's a really hot vape. Okay, so back down to 50. Woo, that is a lot of vapor coming off of that really quickly. But you saw how f large of a cloud that was and how quickly that was under a second vape for that. Now, I, I was blowing out first to prime it and then sucked in. That was less than a second vape to get that large of a cloud. So if you're looking for like a uh, dinner contest or anything, you've been in vaping for a while, this is a good little buy because it's going to give you some clouds. Um, I don't think I told you. Today I am vaping on Juice Head. This is uh, kind of like a blueberry lemonade. It's a 70-30 blend. Uh, I've really been enjoying this. I have a review coming out for this very soon. I wanted to put it through its paces and really get the flavors down pat. Um, kind of like a wine connoisseur, uh, but doing that with vape. So these are what I have been running through of recently. This is Riverside, which I have a review coming out for in a few days. And then this from Juicehead is coming out shortly after that. But Juicehead is what I'm vaping on today. So guys, if you're looking for a vape and you've been into vaping, if you're looking for a vape that has a potentiometer, it's gonna give you massive clouds and great flavor, and always be, always be there and never mess up. I've had trouble out of these and had to send them back. This I've not had any trouble and I've had it for quite a while, many months now, but I've been waiting on this review to put it through its paces and just make sure that it was going to be how I wanted it to be. And I've had no troubles out of this. I've got the lifetime warranty on it. So if it does break, I send it back, get a new one. If this breaks, I think the warranty on this goes out in like probably about 15 days. If this breaks after 15 days, I'm SOL. I just got to buy a new one. This puppy has a lifetime warranty. So if you're looking for one, it's going to have that lifetime warranty that you don't have to worry about breaking because I've dropped this thing. This thing's a monster. It's not going to break anytime soon. So I would definitely recommend if you've got the spare money and you're not a noob, you've been in vaping for a while, definitely check one of these out. You can pick it up at your local shop or online. It's always cheaper online, I promise you, but I'll have a link down below for a few places they're going to carry this mod. So I wanted to thank you guys. Um, we just cracked open 500 subscribers and we're slowly growing every day. Thank you so very much to every single one of you that are commenting and liking and sharing my videos and putting them out there. Without you guys, I would just be making these and letting them sit on my computer. So thank you so, so much for liking and subscribing. Think about if you're new here, hitting that like button, sharing it, or subscribing or commenting down below. I try to respond back to every single comment that's left on my videos. Um, just so I'm kind of dealing with the community a little bit more, but thank you so much. Uh, 500 is somewhere where I never thought that we would be, and I hope that we continue growing and 
shooting for that thousand mark now, guys. So share with your friends and help me get there. Um, I'll love you for it. And oh, almost forgot. Um, I also have another channel, um, Tanner Watson, over there. We have a podcast. It's called Witty Banter. You can find it on any of your podcasting apps uh, to listen to me and my buddy Nick. We do a weekly podcast that releases every Monday at 8 a.m. And uh, we talk about anything you could think of, time travel, aliens, uh, arguing about guns and vapes and camera tutorials and everything. That's kind of my my main channel. Um, we have the podcast on there, the video version of it, and I do camera tutorials and skits and things like that. So think about checking that out if you're new here or you've been around and you just haven't seen my other channel. I post there every week. I promise, guys, you're going to love the stuff that's there. But thanks for coming along on another review. Um, I look forward to just trucking along 500 is a huge milestone for us and i hope you guys stick around and i'll keep making videos for you um please if you know anyone that's trying to get off of those nasty ass cigarettes show them my channel so that way maybe they can pick out a, a mod that they like uh, from anything out there that's the whole point in this is to build a community and get people off of cigarettes so please by all means share with your friends and family and let's get them off those nasty ass cigarettes but thanks for coming along guys i hope to see you very very soon with another video